An early morning walk in this Nightdale community took a turn for the worse when Faye Green says she and her dog were suddenly attacked by two pit bulls. And I watched how she had she had Fluffy in her mouth and they were trying to rip him apart. Faye Green could barely recall the traumatic turn of events yesterday morning without tears. Dog toys are scattered throughout her living room, but Fluffy is nowhere in sight. Her nine pound multi poo. When I got him, I was sure I've lost him. <laughs> I was sure he was gone, but he wasn't. She rushed Fluffy to the vet where he stayed overnight getting treatment. The mental anguish and physical scars from the dog bites have haunted her ever since it happened. I just sat down on the floor. I was, I was, I was in shock. The owner got into her car and fled. At one point, she must have come back because animal control spoke to them. And of course, the dogs were not up to date on their shots and their rabies. She's lived here in the Covington Cross community for almost four years, filing a police report after this devastating encounter that had neighbors coming out of their homes and calling police for help. And I asked animal control how I could protect Fluffy again. And her answer was, don't walk him in this neighborhood, drive to a park. So I got to move. I asked the animal control officer who responded to this report if she's received any information from others in the community who have been attacked. She says she can't release that information. But animal control staffers did tell me misconceptions around pit bulls exist because sometimes they aren't socialized properly. Meantime, Faye is thankful the outcome for Fluffy wasn't worse, and she's still on the fence about getting a rabies shot. Yesterday it was me and tomorrow could be a kid. In Nightdale, Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.